so 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 Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about these two beauties right here. We're going to be comparing the Benefit Cheek Parade palette, which I have already reviewed and demoed in a separate video, and the new Benefit Blush Bar palette that I'm going to be trying out for the very first time today. All right, so let's open this one already. On the blush bar palette, just as with the cheek braid palette, you get a little booklet with tips and tricks. As far as the design goes, I think I love them both. Uh, it's very hard to choose, but if you press me super hard, I feel like I like the ballerinas a little bit better. All right, so from left to right, we have the California, which is a rose gold blush. The California is also on the cheek parade palette. Then we have Gold Rush, which is the latest blush released by Benefit. I am so super excited to try this one. Then we have Dandelion, which is a baby pink powder blush. Then we have Hula. And finally, Rockator. And we have the little blush brush, which you actually get in every single one of Benefit box of powders, the small one, like this one, the Sugar Bomb. It's a classic brush from Benefit. When I took the Chick Parade palette to Brazil, that little brush was actually super handy because I was traveling. But I'm almost tempted to say that I really wish there was a thick blush right here. You also get the brush here on the Chick Parade palette as well. The only difference is that the blush bar palette does not contain the hula light but it does contain gold rush and of course the chick parade one contains hula light but does not contain the new blush gold rush so you're basically getting mostly blushes in this one and just one bronzer which is hula and in this one you get two bronzers and three blushes so using my morphe m573 i'm going to dip that into benefit hula and I'm gonna go into my crease to create kind of a transition there. I really enjoy using Hula on my crease and it's perfect for like an everyday look. Now with my E18 Morphe brush, I'm going to go once again with Hula, but this time on the outer lower lash line. I like to do this to kind of define and also open up my eyes. And also with the E18, I'm gonna go kind of in the outer V, also with Hula, just that I'm gonna pack it there on the outer V with a smaller shadow brush. You see that even though it is the same shade, it's, it's a bronzer, it still looks darker because I'm using a smaller brush. Now I'm going to go with a very soft contouring of my cheekbones and of course I'm using Benefit Hula and if something makes Benefit Hula a best seller is the fact that it is a great shade for contouring. I'm going to contour a little bit my nose, not too much, almost like it is sun-kissed just to make it look a little bit thinner and shorter, a little bit under my bottom lip on my jawline. So to blend the contouring out and also bronze my face a little bit, I'm going to use once again Benefit Hula. Normally I would use Hula Light. It just gives a softer transition to go from Hula Light to Hula. But if you're choosing a bronzing brush, the fact that the shape is completely different and the density of the brush is different, the way it applies the product is going to be different. So you're gonna see that we're gonna get a similar effect. So I'm just going through my temples. I don't like a very dramatic contour on this side. I'm gonna go a little bit down my neck and chest. So a quick note that I just remembered is that the palettes, both of them are highly scented, so keep that in mind. So we have four more blushes to try. I am a huge advocate of using two different blushes on your cheeks, so I think that's perfect so that I use two on one cheek and two on the other one. That also helps you guys to see a face swatch of what the products actually look like. So I'm gonna use Rockator and Gold Rush on the right, and then I'm gonna go with Dandelion and Gully on my left cheek. Rockateur is a really interesting shade to use kind of as a first blush. 
it transitions so well next to Benefit Hula. And now I'm going to be applying Benefit Gold Rush, which is the one I'm most excited about because it is Benefit's most recent launch. I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe R2 brush. Oh, these look so gorgeous, guys. If you don't like shimmery blushes, then Gold Rush is definitely not for you. But I can see that even with the first swipe of the brush, it seems like most of the gold shimmer has gone away. Yeah, it does seem to be just on the surface, so I guess that's kind of weird because if you like shimmery blushes you're gonna be disappointed once the shimmery like glazing of the blush goes away and for those of you who definitely don't like shimmery blushes which there's tons of people who don't you're gonna feel like it's a turn off to get the palette because that looks shimmery I personally enjoy both matte and shimmery blushes when I'm in a rush I usually turn to shimmery blushes because I feel like I can just put it on my face and it looks like I've also applied some kind of highlighter another trick that I like to do very much is to pick for instance the blush the rocator and apply it a little bit near my brow bone so that it kind of ties the look together and adds a little bit of warmth now on this side I'm going to be applying dandelion like I said and then once again with the Morphe R2, I'm going to go in with California. Oh, that looks so beautiful. And it's the exact same experience as with Gold Rush. You get the shimmery gold powder on the surface. And now on this side, I'm going to go in with California almost on my brow bone to give a bit of warmth. All right, so there you have it guys, this is a full look. I'm actually super happy that I got this palette even though I had the other one. But as you guys can see, I really enjoy using these types of palettes to create a full look. Of course, this is something really gentle and soft for everyday wear. As far as my final thoughts after using these two palettes, I do have a favorite and I'm gonna share that with you in just one second. Before I do, I wanna say that I think anyone that like benefit blushes should be getting any of these palettes because they're an amazing value. You're getting five different full-size box of powders on either of these for $58 when each of these five blushes individually costs $29. So you are paying $58, which is of course a lot of money, but you are getting a $145 value. Definitely stop buying individual blushes and go for any of these two palettes because this is an amazing opportunity. I enjoy very much having both of them, but I have problems guys. Nobody needs two almost identical palettes and I definitely don't advise you to have both of them. If I could give a word of advice to benefit I just wish these were a little bit more different because I feel like they have so many great box of powders that people would just collect these palettes if they were a little bit more different. When I bought the Cheek Parade palette, the Blush Bar palette did not exist and I loved it. But now that I see both of them, my favorite has to be the new Blush Bar palette. I'd rather have that extra Gold Rush blush than have the Hula Light that honestly doesn't do much for me. And I don't think Hula Light caters to that many skin tones. I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions and demo on the Blush Bar palette and my comparison review between the Cheek Parade palette and the Blush Bar palette. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because that helps others discover it as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all again on my next one.